U.S. health authorities warned Thursday that a deadlier version of mpox, formerly monkeypox, spreading in the Democratic Republic of the Congo could soon cross international borders, urging those at risk to get vaccinated. While the mpox subtype, which has a higher death rate especially among children, has yet to be detected outside Africa, the Centers for Disease Control warned that vaccination rates have dropped since the 2022 outbreak that led to more than 30,000 cases in the U.S. Previous outbreaks of the virus, which spreads through physical contact, have hit gay and bisexual men particularly hard, and authorities are concerned that Pride festivities in June could accelerate cases if the virus jumps to the U.S. While the West now has extensive access to mpox vaccines, the DRC has no stockpile despite suffering the largest surge of cases ever recorded. The DRC is one of the most vaccine-hesitant societies in Africa, which, coupled with stigma surrounding same-sex activity, has meant that regulatory approval of vaccines and medicines has thus inched forward at snail's pace, according to Health Policy Watch, an independent network of health journalists. Current pox vaccines either require two doses or are injected intradermally, which requires special training for healthcare workers, making vaccine rollouts more complicated in the conflict-torn DRC, a World Health official told the group. An initial shortage of vaccines during the 2022 outbreak led many gay and bisexual men accustomed to following public health messaging similar to HIV prevention programs to curb their sexual activity, causing cases to decline rapidly. But the drop in infections may have produced a false sense of security because vaccination rates from pox have declined since 2022, according to one virologist. Fewer than one in four Americans received two doses of the vaccine, considered the most effective method to prevent the disease. Behavioral changes are difficult to sustain, and public health experts are still pushing for vaccination over celibacy. The 2022 pox outbreak was likely accelerated by many infected people being asymptomatic, according to a new study published in the Journal of Infectious Diseases. About 1 in 15 patients who visited New York City sexual health clinics during the outbreak had pox antibodies despite not being vaccinated or having visible signs of infection such as lesions, a fever, or respiratory symptoms, researchers found, adding that future strains of the virus could follow similar patterns. Using contact tracing that solely relies on testing patients with lesions may be insufficient to completely curb future pox outbreaks. A deadlier version of the infectious disease is ravaging the Democratic Republic of Congo, while the type that caused a 2022 outbreak among gay and bisexual men is regaining strength. With Pride events scheduled worldwide over the coming weeks, U.S. officials are bracing for a return of pox, the infectious disease formerly called monkeypox that struck tens of thousands of gay and bisexual men worldwide in 2022. A combination of behavioral changes and vaccination quelled that outbreak, but a majority of those at risk have not yet been immunized. On Thursday, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention warned of a deadlier version of mpox that is ravaging the Democratic Republic of Congo and urged people at risk to be vaccinated as soon as possible. No cases of that subtype have been identified outside Africa so far. But the escalating epidemic in Congo nevertheless poses a global threat, just as infections in Nigeria set off the 2022 outbreak, experts said. This is a very important example of how an infection anywhere is potentially an infection everywhere and why we need to continue to improve disease surveillance globally, said in Rimoin, an epidemiologist at the University of California, Los Angeles. Dr. Rimoin has studied pox in Congo for more than 20 years and first warned of its potential for global spread in 2010. The CDC is focusing on encouraging Americans at highest risk to become vaccinated before the virus resurges. The agency's outreach efforts include engaging with advocacy groups and social media influencers who have broad appeal among the LGBTQ community. In December, the agency urged clinicians to remain alert for possible cases in travelers from Congo. There are two main types of mpox, clade I, the type that is dominant in Congo, and clade II, a version of which caused the 2022 global outbreak. Both clades have circulated in Africa for decades, sporadically erupting into outbreaks.